today I saw in one of the comments on Facebook that the person replied on one of my classes you repeat on your repeating the same classes over and over and I thought to myself like okay that's a person who is interested in uh, in wisdom very intelligent person probably is looking for deep concepts very high in level and in quality topics with great wide knowledge and then i thought to myself maybe they just don't want to work on themselves because when you want to work on yourself so you understand from one day to the next that you really have not even begun begin and you need to begin over and over again like me with my english i speak english for years already and i still need to work on mine every day from the beginning to learn the grammar to learn the right way to pronounce the words pronunciation and to correct myself even in front of the camera it's humbling but it's not humiliating because my intention and my desire is to learn is to improve so i'm willing to learn with my students so i'm willing to open my heart and to expose myself even in public because the desire of my heart is to learn is to improve is to grow so even if i need to take the same lesson 2000 times or 5000 times i don't care i'm happy because my intention is to expand my knowledge and to learn and to come closer to Hashem and to understand the lesson finally and even if I'm a slow learner so what so by that I recommend all of you guys to watch all the videos all over again and to check them from the first one seven years ago or eight and to just review the content because really the truth is that there is so much to do and we need to work on ourselves so much to improve and to get the great skills that are needed for our mission to be complete. The Creator, He believes in us. That's why in the morning prayer, the first sentence we say is, I thank you in front of you. A king that is alive and exists that you brought back my soul to me with great compassion or that you can say in compassion your faith is great your faith is great what does that mean? what does it mean that Hashem's faith is great? it means that Hashem has faith in me in you, in us he believes in you and that's why He brings your soul back into your body to give you another chance for you to go and complete your mission, for me to wake up in the morning and complete my mission, for us all to take that new day, that new opportunity and to succeed. We need to succeed. Someone asked me a few days ago on our questions and answers learning program on a Zoom meeting. She asked after watching one of my videos that in that video I'm singing a certain song of the song of the angels. I think that that was the song that she was talking about. And she said that she found that my breathing is very relaxed and that she wanted to know if I took some breathing classes or if I'm working on my breathing um, skills, I don't know how you say that even, like to breathe right, to be more relaxed. So I told her that I have such mental issues <laughs> that if I'm not gonna breathe, I can break the world in half. <laughs> so I, had to teach myself to relax and to breathe 
every one of us, we're going through such hell in this world. We go through so many ups and downs, so many challenges, so many difficulties. When we can only train ourselves to breathe and to relax and to be true believers, to complete our job in this beautiful anava, humility, that is not coming out of shame. It's just coming out of admiration to the greatness of the Creator. And for the sake of the cause, for the importance of the soul, for the importance of the souls of people, of human beings, of the people of Israel, for the importance of the Torah and the purpose of our existence and the Holy Land of Israel. For those goals, it's worth it for us to work as hard as we can, to work on our faith, to humble ourselves and to hear the same class over and over even 1,000 times and to breathe and to find our real own true selves that is only good and beautiful from within and to shine that light out.